this is Remy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is the first time you're watching me, I hope you stay for more. We do a lot of beauty tips, reviews. It's super fun. In this video, I've also kept an in-depth of how I apply my false lashes because I know a lot of you have that issue. Please don't forget to subscribe, share and like this video if you like it. I will leave all my social media handles down below. Don't forget to follow me there and if you're interested in watching this look right here, then please keep on watching. Starting off my makeup using the Smashbox Primer Water, just spritzing it all over my face and then going over with any lip balm you have just to prep your lips for the liquid matte lipstick that you're going to be using. Going over with a mattifying and my favorite primer just in the center of my face before going over with my foundation for today. Today I'm using the Makeup Forever foundation which I feel is slightly lighter than my actual skin tone so you will see that I will be using a slightly darker shade just to warm my face up a little. For concealer, I'm going over with the Naked Skin Concealer just to cover any spots that I feel are peeking through the foundation before using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer just to highlight a few points of my face like my under eye, bridge of my nose, around my nose and my chin. And then just blending it together using my damp beauty blender. As you can see, I'm not dragging the product. I'm literally just bouncing it onto my skin. Just so all the product literally sinks into it and looks all blended together. For my powder, I'm using the Laura Mercier just under my eyes. And the Body Shop Mineralized Loose Powder all over my face just to warm up. The foundation that I felt was slightly lighter than my skin tone. This is a great trick for anybody having a lighter shade of foundation. Using the Chubby Stick by Clinique just to contour the areas of my face that I feel needs extra shadowing or just to slim down any areas I want. And then just blending it using my damp beauty sponge. If you have watched my earlier videos, you would know the drill by now. It's the usual cheekbones, jawline, temples and my hairline of course and not to forget the nose contour. I love contouring my face using a cream product. I don't know because I feel it just looks more defined and lasts much longer and I guess it looks less muddy. And then of course just blending it all together using my damp sponge. I don't remember when was the last time I used a brush for all of this. I'm so used to my beauty blender now. What about you guys? Just blending it all over now before going over with my bronzer just to set any cream contour I've done. Just using this brush to remove any powder I have under my eyes that I have used to bake. And of course going over with my favorite bronzer from Too Faced and just warming up all over my face where I contoured and basically where I feel I need to bronze up a little more. If there is any specific look you guys want me to record please leave it in the comment section below because I'll be more than happy to do that. This is one of my favorite shades from her blush line. It's called x-rated it's the perfect perfect coral i can't emphasize on how perfect this coral is i just simply love it and then just using any brush just to blend my bronzer and blush together basically so it doesn't look too patchy and then using this much raved about highlighter the becca champagne pop just to highlight the high points of my cheeks the tip of my nose and also my cupid's bow there are not enough words for this highlighter. It's just amazing. For my brows today, I'm using only Gimme Brow and following the shape of my brow and just brushing through it because I didn't want a very intense brow today. Starting off my eyes using the Too Faced Primer and then just setting it using basically any powder you have near you. I'm just using the Kikas Translucent Powder. Using the shade Zoya from the Saharan Palette just to highlight my brow bone. It's slightly warmer than what I usually use but I wanted it that way. Then going over with the shade Katsina and Sokoto to define my crease and create like a slight orangey burnt crease. 
Then using the shade Lulu all over my eyelid. I didn't want a crazy dramatic eyeshadow today because I wanted it all to be about the glitter wing liner. So I've gone pretty neutral on the eyeshadows today as you can see. And then of course just blending it all together before going over with a gel liner. Today I'm using the Inglot gel liner, the much talked about. It is super super black as it claims to be. But you really have to be really careful when working with this as it dries pretty quickly which could leave more chances to making mistakes. And as you can see even I'm taking my own sweet time creating this wing liner. You have to be really really gentle and go in super small strokes to get it perfect. And then using the glitter eyeliner from Urban Decay. I love 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 this eyeliner glitter eyeliner it's so so nice it's super easy to apply and it looks perfect when applied on a gel liner and takes so little effort for my bottom lashes i'm using this brown soft gel pencil from shu uemura before smoking it out using the shade cleopetra from the nubian 2 palette sorry i don't have a close-up of the shade I completely forgot to record that but it is the perfect perfect glue that matches my glitter eyeliner it just goes so well together and then just brushing off any fallouts I had just to clean my under eyes properly before using my lashes for my lashes I'm using the Ardell natural black wispies and I'm showing you a detail of how I generally apply my lashes if you have a different way of applying your lashes, it's totally fine if it works for you. This is basically something I would suggest for um, if you're just starting to apply because this is a super super easy way of applying it. The trick to apply your false lash like super easily is to actually wait for your glue to get slightly tacky. So what I do is literally flip my eyelash upside down so I can see the band which makes it easier for me to place it on my lash line. Once you're happy with the placement, literally just pinch the remaining false lash that will probably be sticking out and place that in the inner corner and then just double check to see if you're happy with the position, if they're matching to each other and literally it's done. It literally took me 30 seconds per eye. And then of course just merging your false lash and your real lashes together using my favorite mascara. Try to use a waterproof one when you're applying false lashes. This will help stick on much, much longer. For my lips today, I felt like going for a really bold lip. I have no idea why because I literally just took off my makeup after I was done. I didn't go anywhere. But I loved how it complemented each other and how it looked so good with each other. So for my lipstick, I'm using the Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick in the shade heartbreaker it's such a such a nice pleasing red really warm but yet in your face but not too much i hope i'm making sense here a lot of you may already know this trick but i use it all the time so i had to show it here this literally avoids lipstick getting onto your teeth then just setting my makeup using my fix plus and of course be careful of your hair so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. It was super easy and as you can see the liner and the lipstick complemented each other so well. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other video and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.